So here's how a vaccine works. And actually, let's start with how your immune system normally deals with the vaccine, and then let's say how the vaccine actually enhances that and, and goes for that. So let's imagine that your body is a city. Uh, and every, uh, every building and every house in that city is a cell in your body. And COVID-19, uh, the virus, is an evil robot that wants to come over and take over your city. And it blows into your city, uh, say you inhale it because somebody around you is infected, gets into your body, blows into the city, and is looking to take over the city, all right? But it's only one virus. So the first thing it has to do is find some place to hide and some place to build extra copies of itself. So it looks for a house, uh, let's say a lung cell, and it's gonna go hide in that house. Now, the thing about COVID-19 and, and this robot is that it doesn't just crash through the front door. It actually has a key to pick the front door, opens the front door and gets into the house, and then starts to use everything in the house to build more and more copies of itself. Actually, there's so many copies of this evil robot in this house that it destroys the house and releases hundreds of robots now that go out and get into other houses and build more robots. And as this goes on, more and more buildings, houses are destroyed. And if you take that as an analogy of your body, more and more cells in your body are damaged. And if this is allowed to continue unchecked, soon your city is in complete ruin. But your body has a mechanism to protect itself. So when the robot gets into your house, an alarm goes off. So the house says, I'm being invaded. And that alarm goes to, let's say, a uh, army barrack or a police station that is your immune system. So the immune system gets that warning that something is happening and sends out a whole bunch of soldiers, uh, uh, soldier robots to go out and look for where this damage is happening. So they all go out and they're looking around for this, ro uh, this evil virus robot. The problem is that your immune system, these soldier robots are set up that they can only see one kind of evil robot, evil virus robot. They can't see the other kind. So there are ro uh, you know, immuno Im immune robots that are out there looking for the flu, for rabies, for polio. They can't see the COVID-19 evil robot. But maybe only one out of a thousand of these immune robots can actually see COVID-19 but it's only one robot, right? And it's how is it gonna fight all these hundreds of viruses and robots? So that one immune robot has to go back to the factory and have thousands of copies of it being made to make an army of immune robots that now can fight the COVID-19 uh, evil robot. Now, that whole process of making those thousands of robots, those immune robots, those good robots, actually sucks up a lot of uh, energy and causes actually side effects. So the side effects that you get when you get infected, the fever, the pain, the muscle aches, that actually in a large part is your immune system's factory making all of those immune robots. Uh, and it is part of the whole process. So in fact, part of the symptoms that you get when you get any kind of virus infection is in fact because your immune system is building this army. So then this army goes out and finds all these, you know, evil virus robots and neutralizes them. But instead of firing bullets, these immune robots actually fire something called antibodies. And these antibodies are molecules that actually stick to the key that the, the, the evil virus robots are using to get into the, into the houses. So now these evil virus robots can't actually get into these houses and build more copies of them. So they're neutralized. And then other parts of the immune system come in and wipe out the, the viruses that are stuck outside. They can't hide anymore. The immune system and the virus, this is a race because the viruses are blowing up these houses. The immune system has to build all these robots to get out there. So the, the reason that people get sick is this race between the, the building of the good immune robot army and the, the expansion of the evil virus robot army. So what can we do to actually make that work better, faster? And that's where vaccines come in. So the idea is what if we had a pre-existing army of immune robots that actually could see the virus even before the virus showed up, right? So the virus didn't, wouldn't even stand a chance. It wouldn't even have a chance to invade, get into a house, build itself. So how do we build that immune robot army? So what we do is that we actually take a copy of the evil robot, a virus, 
and we in the lab and we we fix it so that it sort of it still looks like the evil robot virus but it can't make more copies of itself so that's a vaccine so then we introduce the evil robot you have this neutralized evil robot uh, into the body as a vaccine the immune system sees it is get the alarms go off the immune robot army is built but this vaccine virus robot can't actually make more copies of itself. So now you've actually built that immune army and it's ready to go. And this vaccine is not infected anybody. So it's actually not causing any damage. So now what you've done is actually you built that immune robot army. Now it is ready when the real evil robot, uh, virus robot enters your body. There's a whole army that's waiting for it and it neutralizes that virus robot before it even has a chance to infect anything. That's how viruses and the immune system fight each other, and that's what vaccines do to actually enhance the ability of your immune system to fight the, the, those invading uh, viruses.